Aloha and welcome. I'm Fade Panther, and this is Dark Cloud. Um, I actually own this game, um, though it's being run through an emulator, so... Whatever! Uh, my sister patched this, so I don't know what is going to be changed. Um, I need to be careful about this, because I think some of the mechanics actually rely on it, but I'll figure that out later. We'll figure that out later. And that's fine. Alright, so... Um, I had talked about this prior and stuff like that, but I didn't really go into detail about Dark Cloud. I have not beat it without cheats. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded its puzzled, uh, deco uh, decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. There should be a comma there. A world within two moons illuminated the sky. With two moons. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story, do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that exists solely in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... Whatever the fuck you want it to be. Um, we'll leave it at Toad. Alright. Dark Shrine. <clears throat> yeah, Toad. I do not know why there's no sound. I mean, there is sound. My, my obs is showing that there's some sound. I don't understand why it's so quiet, though. And I, I, I haven't been pressing a thing, so there's no way that I was going to voice act any of that stuff. I mean, this is a complicated dance number, that's for sure.
It's pretty clear what they were wanting to show there. <laughs> I hope I get a little time to check the uh, menus and see if something's amiss there. That's weird. Yep. This is about the, the face that you're going to remember or uh, see through the majority of this game that kid he gets uh people who help him but for the most part it's it's all him
I mean, his eyes are pretty open. I mean, are, are you trying to get him to help? Because, uh, that's depressing. And here's one of the crux of the game. <laughs> I forgot about this. Not a care in the world or a thought between those ears. No Rune City. Or village. This is the majority of what this game is. Um. Okay, this sound seems fine here. Not like I could change it here anyway. So I, I want to get this kind of out of the way uh, before anybody starts like, getting too engrossed in informing me about the Enhanced Edition. Um, I am aware of it. My sister even got it for me to use in this. Um, one, I don't know how to actually like have it work 
and two, probably more important to me right now, is um, while I was looking through the features of the the enhanced edition, it it fell into a category that I'm I'm a bit gun shy with the current state of the world, and that's that they upgraded the text and changed some text. And I want to preference that as the part that actually, like, uh, trips my uh, sensors off. They didn't say that they um, gave better text. They said that they changed the text. Or restored the original text or anything like that. They just straight up said, changed text. So I was like, um, yeah, I'm okay. So this is just going to be kind of a, an intro to the game. If you guys like it and want to see more of it, I'll, I'll definitely do a full series on this. Um, there are some hang-ups, but at the same same time, this is the patch version. I don't know what it's patched, but I do know that it's improved. Not like enhanced improved, but like it fixes some of the bugs and all that stuff. Darn. In case you couldn't read, where they want you to go is the Divine Beast Cave. So, uh, this game has a couple of elements of it that when I started to see that they were going to be a problem, I immediately cheated the shit out of them. So, one of the first things you'll note, Repair Powder recovers weapon HP of weapons. Um, having this will allow you to escape from a dungeon with the command and neutralizes poison. Um, got a dagger and defensive power. Um, yeah. Uh, fairly easy to use default weapon. Um, if I remember correctly, this game has that hang-up that a lot of other games later on still frickin' do of it is possible to be screwed. Um, I think it was here. Yep, <laughs> I remember that. Um, getting around the the village is really easy because of the fact that you can just go into the thing and then come back out. But we're going to get into the uh, some of the con uh, problem points that I've had with this game. But that said, visually speaking, man. Coming from PlayStation 1 games to this, so different. Will be put to a true test. First going to yeah, yeah, yeah. Find Darren's lair. That's your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight. First to advance to the next floor, acquire a gate key. For the door leading to the next floor, each dungeon has a different gate key. For the Divin uh, Divine Beast Cave, Darren's Crest will be the gate key. Gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to defeat them all one by one. 
that becomes annoying later. Next, I'll tell you about how to return to ground level, rather than advancing to the floor below. Uh, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. Uh, when you do this, just select leave dungeon. Be aware if there are monsters left on the floor, mind connect won't work. It will be blocked by their evil energies. In such cases, use the uh, escape powder to return on your own. AKA, if there are mo no more monsters in the, uh, on the dungeon floor, you can return back without care. But if there are monsters still, you need the return item. I believe that a portion of it, uh, of this game, that I'll have to make use of. Um, being able to come back to a level after I've worked on it. Because while I was cheating, I just gunned all the way through it. Um, next is on the weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable, assholes. Uh, the more you use a weapon, the more it wears and finally breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. Yeah. Ain't that fun. To prevent weapons from breaking, use the item Repair Powder. You will restore their weapon HP. The longer you use a weapon by repairing it, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. Yeah. Ain't that fun. It's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength, it will change into a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a very special spell on the dagger you have, so it will never disappear. But all new weapons you get in the quest will disappear once they are at break. So be careful. Don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear. Finally, important stuff. The other stuff wasn't important. Uh, da da da. Don't hesitate to touch it. Uh, you could absorb the contents of it into the stone by touching it. You return to the surface, you will be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson ran a little long. That's it for the lecture today. Now, show me your true abilities on this quest. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know why, but I had the picture in my head of him going like, the fuck did I smoke? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, that's that. It's quick turn, oh, okay. That was gold. Um, tasty water really quenches thirst. Uh, trust me, that's way more useful than you think it might be. Camera's a bit wonky. Bonky. Oh, hi. Dude and his house. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as an FYI, uh, Dark Cloud 2. I 
don't know if it is as... crazy as this one. Uh, but I do know it has a much... a much more complicated system. Um, in addition, you get to ride mechs. Uh, I never got to play it. Um, because it was a very rare game. Basically... From all the things that I can gather, this is definitely falling into that category of it is working off of the the Legend of Zelda mechanics and is sort of a roguelike. By the way, I had like uh, infinite item usage. So I, I just had, like, never ending repair powder. You do have limited item space, so that is something to be concerned about. It's not actually all that bad. I can upgrade it now. I forget what that actually entails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just becomes a little stronger. Instead of stamina, you have speed. Uh, tram with rusty wheels. I don't have an item for it. That's him going, nope, that's not going to work. So we've got three more monsters to deal with, and I believe those are three more orbs. So we're going to go and deal with that and then head back to the village. I think it's probably going to be a safe bet to do.
No, there's a there's a third guy here. There we go. And there's a the crest. care too much. Um, because basically your leveling system is completely based on the weapons you're using. I believe... Effectively a city builder, except a lot weirder. Yep. I don't know why this game is so quiet, though. <laughs> Configure assembly. Does that go here? No, it does not. Um, if I remember correctly, you can pick these up after. Yeah, you can move them around after you place them down. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. Basically, you, you have to place them in things to be placed. You can't place them by themselves. I think, right? Yeah. But, it's not like having these buildings are worthless. Um, before I save... Does this guy have repair powders for sale? I think they aren't cheap. Which makes it all the more infuriating that you need so many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool.
if I remember, I don't remember correctly if I need to hold on to the repair powders or not. I'll go talk with Marco. He might be the guy who sells them to me. Yeah, I've got 50 item limit. Which, it seems like a lot. It's not. It really is not. As you saw, things do not stack. Nope, alright. And yeah, as you can tell, you can't jump. Alright, I have no idea. I mean, he did say that he enchanted my dagger to not disappear, so that's going to be my main source of shit for a while. Um, let's go ahead and save. Create a new one. So, I will catch you all next time. Um... I don't mind continuing on with this game. I also don't mind if you guys are like, yeah, oh, that was an interesting thing. Cool. And then we move on. Both are completely valid. Let me know in the comments below. Either way, whatever game comes next, I will catch you all then. Until then, though, have fun, be safe, and aloha.